Marvel Live here at New York Comic Con 2016. I'm Ben Morse. That's Ryan Panagos, a.k.a. Agent M. And we've got with us the great David Walker. David, welcome to the show. The great? The wow, great, man. That's like... You're killing it on <laughs> Power Man and Iron Fist, on Nighthawk. We're digging all stuff for you. And you were just showing us the uh, BET promotional comic that you wrote. Yeah, which I just saw. like For the first for time. For the first time, yeah. If we'd had the cameras rolling, we could have we could have made, made history. Yeah, but no, well, it's history because, like, I'm looking at it like, look at... Wow, see, this is all new to me. Yeah. This is pretty amazing. Yeah, this was, um, it was just one of those crazy gigs that happens yeah. when you're working at Marvel. Like, you, like I tell people, working how did you get approached on it? It's like everything with Marvel. Like, it's, um, it's, it's almost like a black op CIA sort of thing where they yep, send you yep, an email yep. and they go, hey, we got this thing we want you to work on, but we can't really tell you about it, and the deadline is tomorrow. <laughs> Can you do it? And yeah. and you're thinking. Well, well, I want to find out what it is. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Say, so then you say yes, <laughs> and it's like it's like rolling the dice or yeah. whatever. But you know, it was it was interesting. It was um, uh, Darren. I'm gonna totally blank on his Sanchez. last name. Sanchez. Sanchez emailed me and said, "Hey, do you want to give this a shot?" And I was like, "Yeah, you know, let's see like how it turns out." And it was kind of fun. It was like um, a lot of characters in a mm -hmm. little amount of space, and so I looked at it as an interesting challenge and. Like Kevin Hart, I'm a fan of his, and he's got like 33 million followers on right. Twitter. So I was like, <laughs> like even if, if two of them start following me, that'll be two it's more than whoever is following That's me a now. Net game. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So before we get into some of the stuff you've been working on, we talked about Power Man, Iron Fist, Nighthawk. You're also working on the upcoming Occupy Avengers, yes, which is a very interesting book to me. We just ran an interview with you recently, but I wanted to know if you couldn't tell us a little bit about what it's about, where this book is coming from, because it's a great premise. I'm really excited to see what you're going to do with it. Yeah, it it's, uh, spins directly out of Civil War II. You know, uh, I'm assuming most people are, are up to date with Civil War II, mm -hmm. and they know. If you're not, cover your ears. Yeah, cover your ears. <laughs> Spoiler yeah. coming. Uh, Clint Barton has killed Bruce Banner, Huge moment. a.k.a. the Hulk. Yeah. Um, and so this picks up right after that, and, and Clint is sort of in this sort of existential crisis mode. He's traveling the country, trying to figure out who he is, what he's all about, and in the process sort of forms his own team of Avengers, mm -hmm. but they're not really Avengers. They're just <laughs> like a bunch of people driving around in a van. And, um, that is the perfect <laughs> Avengers team. And, uh, and, and, and the key is, is that none of the members of the, of the, of the team have superpowers. Okay. So they're l just like Clint as Hawkeye, he's, he's a skilled marksman, uh, skilled with a bow and arrow, but he, you know, it's not like he can fly or anything like that. And, and their adventures are sort of um, harkening back to, there's an old show from the, the 60s called Have Gun, Will Travel. And in the 80s, there was the A team. You know, mm -hmm. the I'm familiar um, with the A team. Yes. With the a big team. fan, big fan, yeah, big fan. Familiar fans. with their work. Yep. See, that you guys stuff. have aged yourselves right <laughs> yeah. there, because I'm like, uh, I, I'm more have gun will travel. But it's all about, <laughs> it's all about uh, them uh, sort of righting the wrongs that you know the Avengers. The the Avengers aren't going to go to Des Moines, Iowa, no. and or or actually Dungston, Iowa, which is the um, manure capital of Iowa, oh, and, nice. and right the wrongs that are going on right. there. But but Occupy Avengers do. And so that's what it's about. And there's, it's a, it's an eclectic team. So far, we've only revealed um, one, two members, Clint Barton and Red Wolf. Yeah. And oh, there's awesome. uh, some other members that are coming up. And they don't all like Clint. So one yeah. of the interesting things is that um, one of the members is, is always trying to kill Clint. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> That old wacky one. Yeah. Uh, is it all new? Ca are there any new characters, or is all characters that we know that we're going to see in this book? They are all, well. Okay, let's put it this way. There are characters that only the most hardcore Marvel fans are going to know. And that's what... Uh, like, like I, I reached deep down into the bag of tricks, and when I pulled it out and I sent my, my ideal lineup, even Tom, who knows everybody... Tom, Tom Rebord. Tom, Tom Rebord. Yeah. Like, his response was, who is this? Oh, my God. And so I was like, yes. If you can get Rebord to do yeah. that, you win. So, uh, and, and, and then they drive around in a van, which... Mm -hmm. We're going to learn some interesting stuff about the van. So that's Ooh. kind of a new character. That's cool. Um, yes. But yeah. I don't want to spoil anything. No, it's for just sure. like the Silver Surfer's board is a character, so is the van. Yes, exactly. So is Hawkeye's van. <laughs> Hawkeye's van. The, it, uh, the, the van's name is Fantastic. Of course <laughs> it is. <laughs> so. 
That's great. I, and I love that, you know, you're, you're talking about pulling out these obscure characters, going super deep. You've been doing that with Power of Man and Iron Fist. You've been yeah. pulled a little bit with Nighthawk. It's awesome. I mean, it, is that just because you've been reading comics for your whole for life? For a really long time. <laughs> and, and you just sort of sit around and you go, oh, hey, I wonder what's going on with so-and-so. And then you look through the, you know, the wiki pages and you're like, yeah, that's okay, but let's, you know, what would happen if they were also a narcoleptic? And yeah. so <laughs> you throw that in there. And, and so I've just been having a lot of fun. A lot of it is just going back to my childhood and looking at characters that were so weird and, and off the wall and going, let's just do something fun and, and interesting. And there's, I think a lot of people come to Marvel and they, they're like, oh, I'm going to create something new. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you don't need to create anything new if yeah, you don't want to because the there's, there's some really, like, you know, Squirrel Girl yeah. right there. Like, who would have thought? But now everybody loves Squirrel Girl and, you know, she's, she is adorable. So, yeah. Who was your favorite pull for the uh, Civil War II storyline in Power Man and Iron Fist? Oh, um, really, it's, uh, it's, it's a guy, it's, it's, it's Gamecock. Yes. And, and <laughs> you know, it was like... It was kind of a struggle to get him in because uh, I think at some point he was dead, but that's you know that's just a mere technicality. Yeah, whatever. And um, I wanted to take a character that was super obscure and and start to build him up. And he's going to do some really interesting stuff in the Civil War II tie-in, and then we're going to see him in the upcoming the next story arc right after nice. Civil War II. So. Um, so lots of Gamecock to look forward to. Yes, yes. Uh, but but all of I mean, I'm just, I'm having a field day with everybody. Yeah. Mangler Daniels. I think Mangler Daniels only had two appearances ever wow. in the Marvel Universe. Where's the, the, you're now probably the preeminent Mangler Daniel writer <laughs> of the of comic history. Well, I did give him a first name. There you go. Yeah, so that's always, that's the fun thing is when you start giving <laughs> characters their first names because they're only known by... <laughs> You know, they're uh, they're 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 evil. They're yeah. bad guy names. So yeah. One of my favorites from the series is Senior Magico. Oh yes. Oh, Senior uh, Magico is the so best. So just a delight. Oh yeah, Senior Magico is he's he's back in Civil War II, right. and he won't be in the Harlem Burns storyline too much. Wow. But there's another storyline that's coming up that it's going to be heavy Senior Magico until. Uh, the the writer the, the the readers I say like petition that he gets his own series and then then well, I I'm say ready. are you ready for Hollywood to come calling oh yeah the senior magic is <laughs> box office gold man I think he could at least get his own Netflix series absolutely I think that would be awesome yeah I'd love to do that yeah he's so, so much fun he so is cool. he's it's and, and it's just it's getting into his mindset is because he, he's as grumpy as I am I'm, <laughs> I'm perhaps the grumpiest. Man in comics and Senior Magico is is up there with me. So. I don't know that that's a tall order to be yeah, the there's grumpiest some grumpy man in comics. guys in comics. There are, but they just they can't compare. They, no, they really can't. They front. They're, they're not actually yeah. like that's just a facade. Yeah, and he wears sweats all the time. Yeah, like <laughs> I the dream. Yeah, He's I mean, living the dream. I if I could wear every outfit, just sweatpants and Amazing. a dirty T-shirt. Hundred percent. Yes, I mean, do. Yes, yes, Go exactly. How do you switch from writing something like Power Man and Iron Fist that's so fun to something that's so dark like Nighthawk? How do you write both those books at the same time and maintain your sanity? Well, I, I don't have sanity. <laughs> that's the key thing. Um, I am really, it's, it's difficult. I, I, I can't work on both of those books the same days. Mm -hmm. And so I will do uh, two or three days working on like Nighthawk and then two or three days working on Power Man and Iron Fist, and two or three days working on Occupy Avengers, and sort of shifting hmm. gears. And, and with Nighthawk, it was a lot of like, it was reading the news, and yeah. it was getting as angry and Reacting. depressed as I could possibly get. Yeah. And with Power Man and Iron Fist, a lot of it was, I would always, really, I'd go out for coffee with friends, like the day before I jump into a new script, just so I could sort of get into that friendship mode, because yeah. that's ultimately what the book is about. The book's about. Yeah. Very cool. Where can people find you online as they uh, track down your books? Uh, they can find me on Twitter at uh, David Walker twelve zero one. Yes, I think that's, that's true. Yes, it is okay. Yeah, one. yeah. So you know better than I do. <laughs> and my website, which was supposed to be up six months ago, still isn't up because yeah, who needs a website in this day and age? No. Yeah. Um, but yeah, David Walker twelve zero one. Of course, people should keep checking out Power Man and Iron Fist, currently yeah. tying into Civil War II. Yes. Nighthawk is winding down. Winding down, but uh, the trade comes out. Yeah, Occupy Avengers starting up. 
November. Soon, in November. Yes, and and I've seen the art. It's amazing. Buy it, pre-order it. Who's the artist? Uh, first four issues is Carlos Pacheco. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's like he's, oh. done, he's done a thing or two. Yeah, he's <laughs> you he's, would know him. That's from, incredible. He's that's okay. Crazy. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, you you I will say you've you've had some really great artist collaborators on these books. It's really awesome. I'm it's very it's, excited. It's because I'm so charming. That's why. <laughs> boy, that's that's what it's all about. Grumpy and charming. The David yeah. Walker story. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna have the Impractical Jokers up next but until then keep watching what we've got for you here at marvel live at new york comic-con 2016 stay tuned stay tuned